All right, once you have a tire, I don't have the second tire done, um, but once you have one of your tires or both of your tires done, you're gonna wanna start to get the curves of your car correct so it's less boxy. Um, to do that, you're really gonna kind of eyeball where the vanishing point is because across the hood, all of these lines, these contour lines that you're gonna kind of draw in, they're gonna kind of go up. So you want it to be, again, less boxy. It's gonna curve a little bit and they should all point back towards the vanishing point. Like so. So if you'll notice, all the marks I'm making with the pencil, they are following along with the uh, converging lines, okay? When we get down towards where the car drops and where it's straight or uh, a little more vertical in the front, it's a little more challenging. And for the side of the car, these lines also are going to run along the converging lines that run in this direction. Again, we're, these are, we're creating contour lines that follow the body of the car. And then for vertical contour lines, we're gonna follow the vertical lines. Okay, these aren't converging lines, they're vertical. So they're gonna kinda go up. And then when they get towards the top, of the car where the the flatness of the hood changes where the 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 planes change directions you're going to turn and again your line's going to go in this direction so on the side of the car you're going to build it up and then turn and move towards the vanishing point up and then turn and move your line towards the vanishing point It's gonna give you these kind of contour shapes. It's how you're gonna kind of shape your car. If you want it to kind of bubble out, you'll kind of bend the lines in this direction. If you want it to go in, you'll kind of go inward like this. Um, when you get back to the, to the hood and the windshield area, you're gonna again kind of curve up and then kind of point them back towards the converging line back here. And once you get these contour lines in place, you can start to add headlights. And for my headlights, for like this headlight here, I've got a couple converging lines going back. And so I know that to size this headlight the same as this, they're gonna kind of both touch these converging lines here and here. So this one's smaller, but it's in perspective. I still need to do the rear tire back here, but, um, and you can start to also work on details. Like if I wanted to work on the uh, rear view mirror, side view mirror, start to get that in there. Um, you can work on some interior features if you wanna show the rear view mirror on the inside. If you don't, I get that. Um, but that's basically it. Um, once you get that, you can start to work on any details, pinstriping, um, the bumper, uh, the hubs, etc., and we'll get into that next class.